A really powerful suite of databases available for your use is EBSCOhost. To access this resource, visit the library's homepage and select the databases link. Then select EBSCOhost All Databases. This will allow you to cross search over 30 EBSCO databases in our collection. The advanced search feature provides for more precision searching, so let's use that to conduct our sample search. Click the Advanced Search link. The interface defaults to three search bars. More can be added by clicking the plus sign. When conducting an advanced search, you can string together two or more keywords, and these can be entered into each search bar. It is best to avoid sentences. For our example, let's see if we can find information on Nelson Mandela and his willingness to forgive those who had wronged him. The keywords in this previous statement include Nelson Mandela and forgiveness. Type Nelson Mandela into the first search bar. Type forgiveness into the second. If there were other aspects we wanted to search, such as equality or racism, we can also type that into the third search bar. For now, let's just see what we get. Click the search link. Keep in mind that when you do research, you may have to change, add, or delete keywords to get the best possible results. We can readily see that there are over 350 hits for these search terms. The type of source is also indicated. A short but incomplete abstract is provided for each. To read the full abstract, click the paper and magnifying glass icon. This particular source looks promising, but let's scan some others to see if we can find other relevant ones. This academic journal also seems promising. Notice that sometimes the title may not provide an insight into the work, so reading the abstract is a productive move. Scanning the subject terms that appear is also a good way to determine whether the source will be relevant or not. Again, confirm by reading the abstract. Most students stop scanning by the first page, but seasoned researchers know that good resources also exist on subsequent pages. Let's look at what's available on page 2. These two look useful. Notice that one is in HTML full text and the other in PDF full text. Some sources contain both HTML and PDF. When presented with a choice, choose the PDF full text since page numbers are printed, making possible in-text citations a lot easier. To access the source, Click the HTML or PDF link. At this point, try conducting a few searches on your topic. Keep in mind that keywords, not sentences, are needed. And through trial and error, select the best keywords for your searches. If you need help, librarians are available to assist you.